Hi, I'm Colin Quinn. I'm on Broadway in Long Story Short, and I'm here to answer your questions. The best things is, you know, you're in New York doing this legendary show. The worst things is you really have a lot of pressure. There's a lot of things done very quickly, and you have to be, you know, you have to, you know, it's hit or miss each week, so it's like a live thing, so sometimes it hits, sometimes it doesn't. I don't want to say the Mayans because then everybody would just think I just want to sit there and chew coca leaves all day and sit around watching beheadings and decadence, but I mean, that sounds like a, a fun time, let's face it. No, I would say, yeah, I think I would have made a good monk. I like castles. I like those castles. I think I would have been good during the Inquisition as one of the uh, grand high uh, inquisitors, I guess that's why they came call me the Inquisition because I think I'm, I'm judgmental enough and I just like the idea of, you know, forcing people to, uh, you know, subject themselves to the rigors of Catholicism. What do they say about them? Angela. I take it you're Italian, unless, oh, Angela could be an Irish name too, like Angela's Ashes. I mean, there's a couple of things they say about Irish guys. I'd say most of them are true. That's why people would say them. Maureen, it's interesting that you say, what's your favorite beer? Who would think a girl named Maureen would be interested in such a question? Obviously, you're uh, related to Angela. As far as, is it true what they say about Irish guys, that they have a favorite beer? Um, I don't know, you know, I quit drinking so many years ago because every beer was my favorite beer. My favorite is doing the Irish, I think, because Irish people, they always talk out of the side of their mouth like I'm, I curse the entire time, but I'm not going to curse right now because I'm going to curse on Broadway.com. I don't know what. Really? Well, in that case, I, I fucking tell you this. Fucking Irish, they love to fucking curse. They call it poetic, but they fucking curse every goddamn fucking second. Is that Joan Rivers? Joan Rivers. Um, you know, like everybody else, Richard Pryor and George Carlin. I mean, I hate to be the cliche guy, but those are the two that really influenced most people I know. I had a couple of great vacations, you know, I went to, uh, I like to go to the islands on vacation sometimes, and I just, believe it or not, I like the beach, everyone doesn't believe me, because I just seem like, you know, a non-beach type person, or at least that's what everybody says about me. Two things people say about me that piss me off, one is, I can't see you, like, at the beach, and the other thing is, people always go, I can't imagine you driving. I don't know why people say that about me, and I really hate it. The deal with Jerry is, Jerry is, uh, you know, he's, a he's about as straight a shooter as you'll get. He is what he is, he says what he's, what he, he says, he's very, he's the most honest person in show business. But of course, some people might say, well, can he afford to be? Yes, he can, but he's still pretty honest. He's a straight, he's a straight guy, you know? Death Row, Death Row, or Death Row? Like, you know, the record label in the 90s. It's also mentioned in the show, by the way. Um, my last meal would be pizza. Pizza, it would definitely be pizza. Probably from Joe's or John's or Mariella Pizza. Maybe a combination of all the great pizzas in New York. Oh, that's what it would be. A, a pie with eight slices, one from each of my favorite pizzerias in New York, in Brooklyn. And a Coke. Oh, forget it. I've had fights with hecklers. I've just had, I mean, it's not even, it just annoys me thinking about it. But one time I got chased literally out of a small town by people, by hecklers. They wanted to kill me. But I mean, I've had so many heckler things. It's just, a, it's not even worth it. There's too many. Every comedian has, you know. It's terrible. He didn't even say anything about the impersonation. He was just at the time, I said, I'm Colin Quinn, remote control, which is like, you know, the MTV show. And he's telling his assistant, what's that, who's that? And they're like, that's an MTV show. He's like, okay, like, you don't want to understand his lines. But you can tell he's a great actor because the one line he had to say was, who are you supposed to be, to me? And he goes like this, who are you supposed to be? And it was like that extra moment of like, real actor guy, you know, and it was like, eh.
bake it. Brooklyn. Well, well, I had the Kindle this whole time, but now I have the iPad. So I'm saying iPad. Um, Playbook. You know, it's funny because I always, when Maxim came out, it just shows what I know about everything. When Maxim came out, I was like, who's going to read a magazine where the girls aren't naked when they got, like, all these graphic pornos? Shows what I know about it. <laughs> Baba Booey. Baba Booey's a big author. He's hot right now. Yeah, but when I was a bartender, uh, yeah, well, I'd scored a lot of drunk chicks when I worked those kinds of bars. But then when I also worked those businessmen bars, you know, you didn't score with a lot of the business guys. You know, it, was a, it was like lunch bar, after work bar. So they were just sitting there like, it was like Mad Men in the 80s. They would just sit there with their, you know, executive's assistants and trying to tell them, you know, whatever 80s version of my wife doesn't understand me, you know. Um, I'll tell you what I didn't do, cut in my throat. That's the only special thing you can do when you're 50. <laughs> First of all, I like the way John thinks. What are they? Uh, I don't know. I mean, you know, it's the kind of thing where you kind of, you know, like I'll be like, if the show's a success, I can imagine the producers giving it to me. But also, if they're producers, they probably want that screen. And they know I won't really appreciate it, you know? Then again, Jerry could actually grab it too, let's face it. I like John, though. He knows the way things work. No matter what people are doing artistically, every, there's always like, every at the end of the show, it's like, what's going to happen to that thing? How about, uh, there's a place for us, somewhere a place for us, hold my hand and the halfway there, hold my hand and I'll take you there, someday, someway. Somehow, or maybe it's somehow, someday, some... I can't remember the order of those three, but that's one of my favorites. I love West Side Story. That's, that's really my favorite show of all time. Thank you guys for the questions. Try to come see the show at the Helen Hayes Theater. See, I say try to come. I don't say come because I know how it is. Try to come. You know what I mean? See what you can do. Try to make it up there. I'm going for that low-pressure sales. See what you can do, man. Try to come by. You know, you can't come, you can't come.